Hey Jeff, I just wanted to show you a couple of those things we were talking about regarding your business cards uh, relating to the blue not being as blue as you wanted it to be and uh, I was telling you that the proof colors tool might help you in the future designing these cards so here you're looking at the blue and you sent this to the printer thinking yeah this is gonna be a nice saturated blue and what you got back is gonna look a lot more like this which is the proofed blue using the uh, proof colors tool and how I did that is it's just command Y to toggle between the two you can also go up to view proof colors and that's the blue that the printer is going to push out uh, quite on quite often if you work with the proof colors enabled that'll help you get the blue that you want so let's leave that on and see if we can fix that blue um, uh, where are we here? I'm gonna go to the color space just to see what you were working in and it, it does look like you were working in RGB which is usually what you'd want to work with in uh, the web because the web deals in red, green, blue um, so it's good for you to have that on most of the time but when you're working on business cards or anything that's gonna be printed you have to go to CMYK because those are the inks they're gonna use um, and to do that they're gonna make me flatten this so I'll just flatten it and uh, you can make the adjustment in the original PSD on the background layer uh, and then send that to the printer again so you're gonna go to uh, view you're gonna go to proof colors so you want that on and you're gonna go to uh, where was that Mo image mode CMYK so you make sure your image is CMYK and then we can have some fun with that. I already um, opened this up, but how you get that uh, color palette open is you go to Window, Color, that'll, that'll pop that open for you. And because you're working in uh, CMYK, it'll be CMYK instead of RGB, and you just crank your cayenne all the way to 100, magenta, yellow, and black to zero, and that'll give you this blue here, which if you want to contrast it against the original blue looks like that so that's as pure printer blue as you can go um, and you can obviously tell that it's a lot brighter and more saturated than the blue that you got and uh, that's with the proof on so it's nice to I guess address the proper color space when you're using uh, stuff that's going to be going to print uh, anyway, good luck with that, and uh, yeah, talk to you later.